with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate coming out soon, at least at the time of the video we made, we are going to be taking a look at Super Smash Flash 2, which is a fan Super Smash Bros. game that runs on Adobe Flash Player. Super Smash Flash is a very well-made game. Not only is its art style amazing with original assets and great animation, but you can tell that the developers really put a lot of care into this game. So why don't we start off with the main menu, which actually looks really good compared to the Wii U menu. Honestly, they really put a minimalistic sense into the menu, that's all what its menu should be. Of course, we have the sound here in the options menu, where you can just, uh, you know, make what sound you want, like if you want it louder and stuff like that. We also have the quality, so of course you can maybe make it a little bit, you know, um, less nice looking, I guess. Maybe that speeds it up, I'm not quite sure. But of course, you can also hook up your own controller using the controller method, which Probably a GameCube controller would work pretty well. In the vault we have the load replay, so you can watch the older intros as well, which is pretty cool. And you replay, of course, your matches as well, which is pretty nice. We have data, and this is where you can import your data, and even clear if you want, just to start over with all of the things you've done in the game. You can go online and play online. I'm not going to be focusing on this on this video, honestly. That'll probably be another video. Uh, and of course, here's the group smash, where we have our rules so that you can change to your will. There's a lot of uh, customization options here. We have Special Smash and Arena, which Arena is actually very interesting. At first I didn't know what it was, but as soon as I clicked to it, of course it's just kind of like you're playing soccer and basketball and it's kind of fun honestly. It's very different, but you have to try to get the sandbag over to the different sides, and it's fun. I think this is definitely a really cool, unique thing for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now we then take a look at the characters. So we have, of course, all the Mario cast. So we have Donkey Kong, Link, Zelda, Sheik, Captain Falcon. Next we have Ness, Zero Suit Samus. We have Samus, Falco, Fox, Newcomer Bandanity, Meta Knight, Kirby, Jigglypuff, Pikachu, Marth, Pit, Newcomer Isaac, Newcomer Chibi Robo, Mr. Game and Watch, we have a random spot here. We have Sonic, Tails, which is a newcomer, Mega Man, Pac Man, Lloyd, which is a newcomer. We have Ichigo, Naruto, Luffy, Goku, Sora, newcomer, and Black Maid, which is a newcomer, and Bomberman. Those are kind of like the anime characters that really don't fit in Super Smash Brothers, but they're there just because I guess the developers felt that they should be in the game, which they should not actually. So anyway, let's actually show you some of the gameplay. We're just gonna go random here with Mario and let's check it out. As you can see there's a lot of stages and I think they really put a lot of work into how the stages work. And honestly they look really cool, I have to say. I'm really fun of the Nintendo 3DS one, which is nice. Yeah, a lot of them also mimic their original counterparts as well. So let's just go to a random one here, and of course we are in the looks like Super Mario Bros. 3. I don't think the stages exist, and honestly, it's really cool, and we're up against Peach here. The control of the game is actually pretty cool. Some of the moves are a little older, and not really as new. For example, Mario does not have Flood here. He only has this kind of spin move, uh, which actually has Luma. I don't think that was in the original, but it's definitely a nice touch nonetheless. So of course we have our, all our moves here. This is pretty much Super Smash Bros. how you expect it to be. You know, it's chaotic, you know has a nice kind of pixely art style, which I absolutely love, I think that's really neat. Um, it's chaotic, I wouldn't say this game is difficult by any means, um, you know, and I think it's just a really fun time waster, and honestly, it's really cool. Now, of course, this does play the Super Smash Brothers a lot, and there's not really any differences that make it significantly different from Super Smash Brothers, and, yeah, there's not really much to say just because of how well the game plays. It can get a little laggy, depends on how many tabs you have open, um, but you can also download the game. For me, I couldn't actually download the game, I couldn't figure it out how to do that because I have a Mac. But of course, if you have another um, computer, such as, say, Windows PC or something like that, it would probably work a lot easier. But yeah, like, it's definitely fun if you want to hook up a Wii U, um, you know, adapter, and then you can play as a GameCube controller, or even hook up the Nintendo Switch and Joy-Con. Those are also fun as well. Here we also have Chibi Robo against Marth. And now, Chibi Robo was a character I really wanted to be in Smash. He didn't get in, and I was kind of heartbroken just because his move set and potential would have been so amazing. As you can see, a lot of the moves that I was thinking about would work really well 
are here. We also have now Barman, Isaac, Sora, and Bandana D. Bandana D also is a really cool character that I hope gets into Smash. There may be DLC as well. He's a definitely very good contender. Isaac, we all know what happened. Bomberman, same thing. Sora, I don't think we'll get into Smash personally. I think he's... He's a square rep, but he also belongs kind of to Disney, and I don't think Disney and Nintendo and video games, you know, merge well together personally. The CPUs also are really good as well. They did a good job with that. And the thing that this game is all time 8 and not by Nintendo, honestly, is insane as well. They put a lot of work into it. Some things are not maybe as perfect as others, and maybe some things should be kind of more pixelated than others, but honestly, it's a very good game, and I have to say they did a fantastic job with just the game soundtrack in general, which is unbelievable how they managed to make it so good. Now we have another round, and as you can see, they're all so are alternate costumes, but not the way you think they kind of would work. They're kind of like tints. For example, Donkey Kong here is actually looking quite like Bonzi Buddy, to be honest with you, which is definitely not a good thing. But yeah, I mean, they didn't really put a lot of work into alternate costumes in general. They're pretty much just like tints of the character. So they kind of just took like the general like, hue of the character and just made him red, pink, you know, different colors and stuff like that. They don't really have any major differences. Well, I guess that's just kind of a time thing, just because or else you have to make different assets for each and every single Yoshi, you know what I mean? So that's kind of a little bit difficult to do, so I kind of understand why they took this route. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't think that's definitely a big deal. But as you can see, playing against three characters can get a little hectic, or even four. Definitely, I was talking about the light before. That can definitely be an issue. Sometimes you have to actually reload the game if you're playing off, like, Chrome or any other um, browser as well. Which is why I recommend downloading it. It won't really act as strange as that. But yeah, definitely, I think this game is pretty awesome. There also are unlockable characters, and more characters coming. Right, like I said, this is Super Smash Flash 2 Beta. So, more characters are coming. Apparently, Waluigi's coming, Rayman, and more. So, definitely keep on the lookout. I will do videos for those characters if they do come out very soon. But obviously, as you can see, this game took three years to make, so don't expect those characters overnight. And yeah, the, it's, it's going to be a long time until they come out. As you can see here, here is the stadium mode where we have Break the Targets, Home Run Contest, Multi-Band Smash, and Crystal Smash. These are pretty much the identical versions on, you know, an actual Super Smash Bros. game, so I won't go into much details here. But these are really well crafted, I have to say. We also have here, these are kind of like, in Brawl, you had a bunch of different, almost like, tasks to do. For example, you can... You have to fight Mario or fight Yoshi or something like that. As you can see, Bowser's trying to fight Mario in the Mario stage. And yeah, I mean, these are kind of your basic, um, you know, Bowser versus Mario and stuff like that. Next up, let's take a look at Classic Mode. And of course, this is back in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, you just pick a character and of course, you fight up against a bunch of characters. As you can see, it looks very, very good, I have to say. The nice the kind of versus screen looks pretty neat, and you can see, of course, all the challenges and things you have to do on the side, so that's pretty neat. And immediately, we're inside a battle here. And as you can see, we also have another round here where you have to face against with the ally. So definitely a lot of connections to Super Smash Bros. Brawl here. Definitely really cool. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new for new content. Are you getting Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Because I know I am and I'm going to be covering it on the channel hopefully somehow. So definitely if you want to see that, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new for future content. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!